Almost one third of Malawi is still in school. They take education seriously here. Most children put in the hours to get the grades. There are plenty of obstacles in their way. This one primary school caters to more than 3,000 children. That's more than 100 squeezed into every classroom. And there's no mains power supply either. 40 kilometers outside Lilongwe, the limitations of Malawi's power network are plain. There are 18 schools in this region and not one of them is connected to the grid. Solar power is the only realistic option. Malawi's government has been working with an international NGO to install affordable solar lighting in this school and others. The organization, Sunny Money, has been working in Malawi for a decade and says there's much more to do. Because Malawi is one of the poorest countries in the world, and I think the demand, it's there, but it really stays really, you know, on the entry level products. So it's difficult for the market to really to start. Yeah. We've seen some progress in the last few years, but still, you know, we cannot really call um, Malawi as, you know, a proper market for solar. Mm -hmm. So this, we still need to come here and to, you know, to assist the local community. For these children, solar power is vital to their success, but it means some odd school hours. They open their books at three in the morning through to six. Then the lights are recharged for 12 hours and the students get back to work from six till nine in the evening. These solars help us when we are reading all the night. If we, we didn't have solars, we will be reading using torch. Solar is brighter than the kerosene lamp or the torches we had. We can now read better and longer. The school's principal, Sylvester Maleka, tells us he's been trying to encourage communities to pay for more of the lights. It's hard work. With the poverty in the villages, we find it difficult to raise enough money for all the classes. That's why we only use one class. But it's one class that now has a better chance of producing high achievers who in turn could help transform the country. Sony Methu, Lilongwe, Malawi.